investors, then we shouldn't be judging 30 and 30, we should be investors, right? <laughs> <laughs>1.5 million in revenue, this year about 4 million and on track to do 7. 2018 it should be 3 million, the total funding is 4 million and the expected revenue is 7.5 million. The only hesitation I would mm. maybe point out is they've gotten a lot of press it sounds like. They and have. This isn't a ton of sales relative to that much press. Interesting the difference in what each of them raises and how productive they mm -hmm. are. 1.15 in 2018, 1.5 for this year. Are well, they expecting no growth whatsoever? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. And I oh, wonder if that's just... because they're just opening another location, but that but that should but be no more, growth? honestly. Yeah. The no growth is, is a little weird. I think we have weird. to look at, oh, we won't, they won't be around next year. Their numbers are great. We passed on her last year, but I think the numbers are there. Over five million in 2018 revenue. 19 is 6.1. did you on her last year? We didn't have numbers. Yeah. When assessing a nominee, we think about a lot of things. Is the concept sticky? Is what they're doing special? Is it new? Is it something that's compelling? Is it a responsible business? Is it doing something that's bigger than just making something delicious for you or me to grab and take home? We would not be embarrassed at all to have mm -hmm. them on the list, but on the flip side, 26 next year, we could see totally. how they go past, you know, Past a million, and that would be so. It's a, it's so a, maybe for now, maybe next year. It's a that's a, it's a great way. They are a huge, huge Instagram. They have huge Instagram following, and that's kind of how they became popular. Amazing, um, but you should look at it next year, okay. twenty eight. Yeah, look at next year. Sounds good. Let's mm -hmm. see if you can do anything with mm -hmm. it. No, but let's know what they're telling us too, because yeah. if they come yeah. at it too. You'd say, wow, that's pretty good, except they were telling us four. It's, mm -hmm. it's not just that you look at next year, you need did to flag right? what they were saying they did. So. You know, it's really interesting being a judge for the second time to see how the world of food has changed in just a few short years. It's really interesting to see how these 20-something year olds are really building businesses and careers for themselves and making our food and beverage experience more compelling for years to come. And my guess also is like, maybe this is just a really good gift, but are people really using this for themselves? Like, right. are they gonna buy it consistently? Well, when you look at the competition for a third the price, yeah. I think, you know, this is a great gift. You're right, you're going yeah. to someone's house who oh, likes yeah. hot right. sauce, it's a great Brilliant. gift. Yeah. She is a 29 year old from New Jersey who does this meal delivery service with her husband, who is unfortunately over 30. Um, they are very big on the bro advertising, have billboards up everywhere. 2018 revenue is 18.2 million. Expected 19, 2019 revenue is 34.5. Zero funding, all self-funded. She's the first generation American. Her parents immigrated from France. And the other woman is 29, based in New Jersey. 2018 revenue is 9.4. 2019 revenue expected is 15 million. So um, Laureen is about double the size, give or take. I appreciate the bootstrapping nature of both of them, <laughs> given the numbers that they're doing. I think there are a lot of really big, great ideas. Some businesses had a little bit more time that they needed to really prove out their proof of concept, to hone in on their recipe, but the future of food and wine is in good hands. It's contributing to the future of the field. The future, yeah.